Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Subnautica. If you will recall, at the end of the last episode, we were heading towards the landmass that we had a signal for that we've never really been to before. And I decided, you know, to dive down and see if there was actually anything of interest down here. And it turns out that there is something down here. I don't know what there is, but I thought whatever it was, it was it was kind of worth checking out. And it's not something that we can actually take the Seamoth to into uh, because it's just it's just it's just too deep. So we're going to have to manually leave the Cyclops here. Uh, and our air is probably going to go down very, 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 very quickly indeed. But you know what? Hey-ho, we're going to check out exactly what's going on down here. Now, ideally, we'd be basalt, gold. I mean, I don't really care about basalt or gold. We've got enough basalt and gold. I don't know what this is. I do not know what this is. A membrane tree. I think that this entire area is like one natural organism or something. I, I don't know. I do not know. But we always need to stay a little bit closer to the Cyclops uh, than we otherwise would. Now, we're looking for moon pool fragments. Terraformer fragments. We've, uh, we've, already got, we've already got terraformer fragments. Do we have any food that we can have? Not really. Not really. We don't really have any food, but we're looking. We're looking for moon pool fragments, and I don't know the frequency at which they occur, but uh, you know we're having a look around and seeing what we can find. And I thought that this was just a nice little interesting thing to uh, to do on our way to. Oh, what is through here? What? What? Where's the Where's the sea moss? Oh, it's up here. Oh, I thought it died for a second there. Oh, so if I just look up. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought... Uh, I'll close these doors just in case. I thought... the, sea, the I, I thought since we were too deep, the sea moth would, you know, like, die or something. I'm glad that it hasn't. I want to, you know, make that, that pretty clear, but... I would have been pretty bad, pretty pretty dodgy if that had actually happened. So we're looking around for the very, very, very all-important blueprint boxes. You know the ones that I'm talking about. You know what I'm looking for. There we go. There we go. Moon pool. That's the ticket. Excuse me. There we go. 50%. So it's clear that we're in the right area. That's really, really nice, actually. Um... Once again, don't want to stray too, too far from the Cyclops. It's just over there, and we've got a... Got a little sea glide, which is kind of nice. Now, that is deep. I don't... I do... I do not know, like, what is that deep down there. Because that is next level deep. But it seems that this rebreather that we're... That we're kind of using uh, supposedly gives us extra air at, at depths. Inventory's full, terraformer fragment. Oh, I don't care about that shit. Let's uh, let's head back to the head back to Cyclops for a minute, just to make sure that we're one hundred percent up to date on our air. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Shut up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're we're good. We're we're all gravy, baby. We're not actually that far away from our base either. So, you know, fingers crossed, we should be fine. Now, uh, got a little bit of a problem here, folks, because we don't have bleach and we don't have an air sac. And we're running a little bit low on, uh, water. We've got the radiation suit on and cured air sac. If we eat that, it's going to reduce our water intake, yeah, but let's, let's continue exploring. I think it's worth it to try and just get that moon pool done. Because the moon pool is the next, you know, is the next big thing in our way, you know? And we are absolutely hammering through it here. If this is a moon pool fragment, then we can go home. We can go home. Yes, that is how it's done. I honestly had no intention of completing the moon pool, like, at all. But I guess since we can d dive so deep and uh, explore so far away... Uh, it was totally, totally easy to do. So, 
Hallelujah, I guess. And this is all being done on the way to um, on the way to this this landmass over here, which is really really cool. I honestly have no idea what the terrain is like down here. I don't know if there's any animals, any big fish, or whatever. I don't know if it goes up. I don't know if it goes down. I don't know. I don't know what is going on here. But I know the landmass is over there, and I know our home is not too far in that direction. Yeah, severe dehydration. That is that is what kind of worries me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't crash. Don't crash, potato. Don't crash. Don't crash. Because we are seriously deep right now. I think we should probably, if we can, head in the direction of home. Because it seems that home is not too far away from the landmass. And something else that I, I should probably tell you is that... You can't really, uh, you can't really suffer severe dehydration at home. Oh, shit, we found the landmass. And that looks like something on the top. Oh, shit, okay, 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 okay. Here's the plan, here's the plan. We're gonna leave the Cyclops here, because we need to know exactly where this landmass actually is. Well, even though we've got a, uh, what'd you call it? We've got a beacon that we could use, or, you know, we've got a bloody signal. We're going to hop in the, the, the Seamoth, because the Seamoth is going to actually allow us to get home much, much quicker. Now, it should not take us too long at all to do this. Fingers crossed, anyway. We should be able to get there pretty pronto. Uh, health is 85% of this bad boy, this Seamoth. It's not going to be a very interesting ride, I, I, I want you to know that, but fingers crossed we should be able to get home before... You know, shit hits the fan, so to speak. Should be, uh, it should be fine. Uh, energy is basically 100% anyway, so we're totally fine with that. Now, this is this is something that I talked about a little bit in previous episodes. We're gonna have to start thinking very, very seriously about what the heck we are gonna do uh, about the fact that our our fish tank, or well, I say our fish tank, it's actually technically called an aquarium, but is getting a little bit full, you know. Is getting a little bit full right now, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to think about what we want to do about that. And we're we're basically almost home, and I don't think that we're gonna die from dehydration. It's a possibility, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Fingers crossed that we won't. Fingers crossed we'll be able to run home. We'll be able to use our brand new, well, brand new ish water filtration plant, and we'll be able to have a happy, happy life because we won't be dying from dehydration. I do have four med kits on me, right? I've got four med kits, which means that technically we are going to be able to sustain ourselves. If we take a little bit of damage, we can just med kit ourselves up until we uh, until we get home. That's not the preferable solution to this problem. The preferable solution to this problem is drinking some fucking water. Ah, I see it. I see the base. I see the base. I see the base. In the distance there, I see it. I do see it. Calorie intake recommended. Okay, you're just you're ignoring the fact that I sort of have almost severe dehydration at this point. That's fine. Okay, hop out. Shit, 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 shit. Run. Run, 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 run. Why am I not running? Why am I not running faster? <laughs> oh, God. Drink. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Jeez Louise. Whew. Well, we're full up on water now. My God. That is, that is pretty crazy. Uh, let's just go and pick up some fish. There's a lot of fish now. Inventory is full. Really? Really? Is this necessary? Is this really necessary? I cannot believe we did that, actually. That's crazy. Yeah, we can get rid of some of that metal salvage. Some of that salt. Uh, in fact, no, we'll keep some of the salt. In fact, no, we'll get rid of some of the salt. Why have I got a computer chip? Oh, yeah, because we uh, we wanted to build a, uh, a sea moth improvement thingy. There's the cyclops over there. Uh, how do we build a moon pool? That's my question. How and where do we build a bloody moon pool? An aquarium. Nice. No, no moon pool. Oh, moon pool. A docking room. This looks... Oh my 
god, holy shit balls. Well, that's gonna be next uh, next episode's project. We're not gonna we're not gonna try and do that now. Fuck no. Cannot be bothered doing doing such a large project. Now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to prepare mentally for that. Uh, now why why can I nay na, na, na buy any fish? Na buy any fish? You are gonna This literally just gets rid of twenty five percent of our water. My god. Alright, well we're gonna drop this outside. Poor Reginald. Poor Reginald. Uh, and we'll eat that. We'll eat that as well. Alright. Grand. Grand, grand, grand. Do we have any other fish? Let, yeah, let's go and grab grab some fish. What fish are there? There is two Reginalds. We can have two Reginalds. Take two Reginalds. And a boomerang. Two Reginalds and a boomerang? Seems like a great deal to me. Let's get back in that sea moth and let's head back to the ship. Now, the reason that I'm not hanging around to make food is because actually our Cyclops has way more uh, power than the base at night. Because the, the Cyclops has got a, a thingy of 600 power. So, super, super happy that we can go there and make food actually on the ship. Worth bearing in mind that we don't technically have any way of making water on this ship. Or actually food. We, we have no way of making food or water, but we can make med kits. So... That counts for something, I guess. But yeah, hey-ho, we're visiting a landmass today that we've never visited before, which is kind of awesome. That we can't really see at all, actually. Like, we need to be very, very close up. I guess this is the landmass that, um... Oh, shit. Ah, it's the big, the big fat turtle guys. I don't know. Whatever. It's not a Reaper Leviathan, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, basically I was saying that I think you need to be pretty darn close to the landmass to actually see it because we've been, we we went pretty far to the south, we didn't see it, uh, but fingers crossed we can see it now, which is really, really nice. I can, I can almost see my cyclops over there. Almost see my cyclops! I can almost see my cyclops. Landmass is right there. Looks very badly textured, but it looks fine. Looks like it could be the crash area, or it looks like somebody set up a habitat up there. That's what it looks like. I might be wrong, but it's always it's always worth speculating about these things, you know, just for the sense of adventure. And I also want to make sure that I get to, to the Cyclops in time to cook my fish, because of course you can't eat you can't eat, you can't eat not have dinner. Oh yeah, we're back. We're back in action, folks. We're back in action. This is such a gorgeous ship, isn't it? It really, really is. Zoop! Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard to you, too. And it's gonna charge up, and it's gonna drain shit ton of my power, but that's whatever. It's fine. Pick up another medical kit. You know what? We should... Uh, shit. Choose... Let's use... Let's just cook, cook some food. Yeah, just cook me a Reginald. You know, cook me a Reginald. It's fine. And then I'll stick some med kits in there. Cook Reginald and Reginald. I'll just eat a Reginald. And I'll leave those two fish in my inventory for now. In fact, no. Apparently you can put fish in uh, in storage chests. Like live fish in storage chests. And they will stay alive. Who knows? It's worth a shot. Anyway, landmass has been detected. Let's head over to the landmass and see what we can actually do. We'll take the Cyclops over there because why the heck not? I'm curious. I want to, I want to see what is over here. Looks like there is some sort of an underground complex, or some sort of an underground thing. Looks like there's a habitat up there. Oh my god, this is, this is a, this is a very, very, very peculiar island. How deep does it, it what? It's a floating landmass? How? 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 This is very peculiar. Can I even get on here? I don't even know if I can get on. I guess we'll we'll go around the island until we can find somewhere to get on. But it looks like it's floating. 
I don't want to say it definitely is floating because I have no bloody idea. But I don't see anything connected to the to the base. It's a it's a fairly big island as well, isn't it? My God. Jeez Louise. This is this is quite I'm sort of stunned a little bit. Because how how can an island be floating? <laughs> like doesn't make much sense to me. Oh, is this a is this a way up here? Ah. Aha. Wow, it was actually on the dot exactly. Lovely. I will I will un uh, I will unhook myself from the the mechanism. Now, what is on the beach here? I see something. I see some lithium. I just want to have a quick swim down here just to make sure that I'm not going insane. What are these tentacles? I feel like if I cut these, then like all hell is going to break loose and the, the you know nature is going to start rebelling against me in some sort of a, an avatar-esque way. We've discovered a landmass, so whoop-de-doo, eh? whoop de bloody doo Huh. Got pink flowers. Let's scan these bad boys in. Are there actually going to be other humans on here? Orange mushroom? Like, this is all above surface stuff. I never thought that we'd get here. I didn't even realize that this was a, a part of the game. You could exist in. Huh. I guess we'll take the mountainous the mountainous walk. That looks like that looks like a habitat or something. I mean why did I have to build my base underwater? Could I not have built my base a purple vase plant? A vase, a vase. Purple vase. Could I not have built my base on land? These bases wait, what the fuck is going on? These bases look like they're fucked. Or like they've been here for like a hundred years. Exterior grow bed. Okay. Why is this taking such a darn long time to scan? That's my question. Fragment scan. Unlocked farming tray. Okay, I got a blueprint for scanning a blooming tray. I'll take this. Yeah, I'll take this. Give me the vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. The heck is going on? I mean, this is. We can see inside a little bit, but. Nothing conclusive. A bulbo tree. That sounds like a little bit of a daft name, if I'm honest. A little bit of a daft name. A bulbo tree. Purple vase plant, we've already got that. Let's continue on this pathway. I imagine it's going to take us up to the tippity top of the hill, but at this point... Oh, shit. Uh, pink mushroom? I'll scan the pink mushroom. At this point, I'm questioning, like, what went what went on here? Like, I, I wish I knew, because I was probably the only survivor who built my base underwater, maybe? Maybe that's why I've survived so long? And I'm uncovering some sort of a a conspiracy that aliens were involved and they killed people on the land only? I mean, who, who bloody knows at this point, really? Who knows? Orange Petals Plant. That is a, that is a stunningly creative name, I'll tell you that. A stunningly creative name. But we unlocked a blueprint, so this entire exercise was technically worth it. We can't scan these trees. Yeah, it looks like we are going up the mountain. That's grand. That's that's exactly where we want to be going. Although I do feel that this path is very constraining. Like it is forcing me up this very specific route. As if something was going to happen. There we go. A little bit of a hop, skip, and a jump over that little crevice. Oh, that base was the one that we were down at. Yes, that's the one that we were we were having a look at earlier. As in like two minutes ago. Okay, up here. Pink mushrooms, we've already scanned. Yeah. 
Oh god, this is this is a really thin path up here. You gotta be a real skinny motherfucker to get up up this way. Scanned all this stuff here before. This way? There's a ship over there. Obviously in the background. Is that land? Did I see land over there? No, I'm just just my eyes playing tricks on me. Oh my god. This is this is fucked up. There was somebody here. This is this is messed up. I don't know what's going on, but something is something is not right. Oh god, great. Lovely. Let me drop some uh What do I want to drop? Titanium maybe? Vegetable plant? I'll I'll scan the vegetable plant, I guess. I want to scan everything just in case I get stuff. Inventory's full. Old purple vegetable. Some seeds. Okay, I can eat uh I can eat this. Eat that one and then I'll have that. And then I'll pick the vegetables. Because I want the seeds. Really. Scan the chair, because I want a chair. If I get a blueprint for a chair, I would be very, very happy. This is very, very spooky, though. Oh, wow, we got a starship chair. And a desk as well? Are we going to get a desk? Oh, man. This is... The fun never ends, does it? Observatory fragment. Unlocked an observatory fragment. Lovely. This is... I don't like this, though. I don't, I don't like this one bit. Spotlight. Okay. A spotlight as well. Spotlights would be really handy in a submarine. They really would be. What, just what is going on here, though? Like, seriously. It's a butterfly or something up there. I don't know if it's scannable. We just head down the mountain, slowly but surely. I say slowly but surely. Quickly but fastly, maybe? Quickly but fastly. Uh, yeah, we need to try and head to the other observatory up there. Because, well, it looks like an observatory. Or it said observatory fragment. So I would guess that it's an observatory. Or whatever it is, I'm going to call it a bloody observatory. So if it's not an observatory, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There we go. Little little bit of the truffle shuffle. We can get up this mountain. No problem at all. Whoa. I don't like when I jump, I jump backwards. Kind of scares me a little bit. Oh, oh. oh, there we go. We did it. Yeah, somehow I don't think this game had uh, was designed with uh, actual walking in mind. Like it was more designed for swimming, and uh, therefore a little bit of a problem when it comes to. Uh... Oh, lovely! Come back! Come! Come back! <laughs> come back! <laughs> All right, whatever. Um. Uh... That's a. What is this? An indoor grow bed. This is quite something, I guess. Yep, I'll take that. A fern plant. I have got shit tons of blueprints from this adventure. I've already scanned all this stuff. All this stuff. Hanging fruit. Uh, there is no way that I'm missing the opportunity to take hanging fruit. Inventory is still full. Uh, Alright, eat the stupid melon thing. Now, can we, can we cut this off and get some seeds? I 
guess not. I guess we can't cut it off and get seeds. Oh. I just cut it down, I guess? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, shit, yeah, pink flower seeds. Awesome. So we got some pink flower seeds. Honestly, I would rather get some fruit seeds because fruit is kind of useful. Okay, well, our inventory is well and truly full. That is definitely the case. Whoa, what? I didn't even jump there. I did not even jump there. Now, is there anything down to this side of the island? Because we haven't really explored this side of the island much. Yeah, I didn't think that fall damage would be too much of a thing. But that's fine. But this area is just so strange. It really, really is. I, I don't understand. A landmass has been detected. You know, that's great. We've got some pink flower seeds. We've got old vegetable seeds. We've unlocked a shit ton of blueprints. Theoretically, we can get uh, a chair, a desk, an observatory. Look at the ocean life around you. A spotlight, an exterior grow bed suitable for land or over sea. A plant pot, an interior grow bed. I mean, that is that is a great success, I think, for everybody there, right? That is unbelievably successful. Like, that is crazy successful. Like, I am astounded that we managed to be as successful as we actually were. Let's head home, I guess. Let's absolutely head home. Because... There's nothing that we can really do at the Aurora, I don't think. There is perhaps something that we can do with the upstairs, you know, the upstairs that I keep on talking about from time to time. Uh, but, you know, I think that that may be a story element and something that we just don't have exposure to quite yet. You know, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't really know what, what's up with that, that whole thing yet. Oh, that, the back there, that area looks like some sort of a command area or something. I, I don't really know. But I also don't know who the heck was living in those observatories and why they were in such bad condition, like they had been ransacked and destroyed, and I don't know how that managed to happen, quite frankly. I really do not. What is what is that on the... Did I see something on the roof? Yeah, what is... Is that just a, a bit of broken whatever, or... I don't know. I, I do not know. Things are really, really heating up. They really, really are. But I'm glad, because this is really, really exciting, and I am absolutely having a whale of a time right now. Uh, ladies and gents, in the next episode, we're going to be moving on to building a moon pool. I don't know what we're going to be able to build in the moon pool. I have zero idea, but I, I think at the moment, we're not working on any active blueprints, which is sort of a good sign, because it means that we're, we're you know, we're caught up to date with our blueprints, which is kind of cool. Are we still too high to uh, see anything? I don't think we're too far away from home quite honestly. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we're fine. We're fine, but... Yeah, I mean, we can see it glitching through the through the world, even though there's probably a, a ferny forest between, between the base and us. We can still see the lights on. But hey-ho, that doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, next episode, we're going to be 100% building a moon pool. Uh, we should have all of the materials that we actually need. Uh, it shouldn't be too darn difficult at all, and that is something that we can be very, very, very excited about, because that is new tech to me, very, very new tech, and uh, and that excites me in a major, major way when I get to fiddle around with something that I have no idea how it works, and we just, you know, we just take it from there, and it's a, it's a good little process, because we get to build it, we get to talk about it, and then we get to, to fiddle around with it. And that is something that I uh, that I like immensely. I really, really do. It's very, 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 very uh, satisfying and appealing. But I'm so glad we able uh, we were uh, we were able to pick the moon pool up as well. That is super, super important. Why can't I see all of the lockers? Why can't I see all the lockers? Like this is okay. It's good. I can't see the lockers anymore. A little bit weird how that that uh, that was happening. But hey ho. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over Potato. This has been Subnautica. Why am I... Water filtration machine. If I scan this water filtration machine, what happens? Like, what, what actually happens? Because we've already got the blueprint for it. Like, what the heck happens?
Grand total of nothing. Lovely. Lovely. Love it when that happens. Love it when nothing happens. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obdub Potato. This has been Subnautica. And until next time, folks, bye.